Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will, down here in Key West. You know that guy. <laughs> the Key West Waterman. Um, Aaron's got a charter tomorrow and he's out just checking visibility. We're just kind of running around. Brought a couple of spear guns just in case something comes our way. Gonna jump in the water and see what we get. Uh, he's already got three fish in the boat, so that's it. No more fish left. That was an accident. <laughs> but let's get in the water and see what we come up with. All right, we bounced around to a couple of different spots. Um, <laughs> I, shot, I shot that bar jack. I wasn't really seeing anything, so I figured, you know what, why not? I don't know, why not? A little guy. Um, but I got an idea for him. Ah, a lot of wind here. I got an idea to do a little sashimi plate, something I want to try out. Um, and you know, Aaron, Aaron might call that, might call it a meat shot. I call it a bullseye. It's right in the center. It's perfect. Yeah, I hit it dead center. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the last spot of the day. Um, I got in for about a second. It's pretty murky and uh, the viz doesn't open up until you get all the way down to the bottom. And uh, not being the strongest diver, by the time I get down to the bottom, I don't have a lot of hunt time on the bottom or bottom time. So if nothing really comes by me right off the bat, uh, I don't have a lot of hang time down there. So, I am going to dig into my lunch topside here, and I'm going to take an L on today. But, I will say this, I will say that in the cooler there's not a lot of fish, so I don't feel that bad. If Aaron was shooting them right and left, and I only had my, my little bar jack, I'd feel a lot worse. But, uh, that little guy is going to be a good plate of sashimi, and like I said, I got a... I, I have an idea. I'm pretty excited about it and I think it's gonna work. So we will see you back at the house.
So it's the next morning. It's dead flat calm. Uh, Aaron's heading out to uh, check the side scan, the sonar on the uh, new Ginu. So I figured I would come along, bring my dive stuff. If we can pad the pot, let's do it. We'll see if we can come up with something uh, <laughs> to stretch that bar jack a little bit. Let's go. So I don't really need to go into depth about filleting this fish. You've seen me fillet fish on my channel. Uh, one thing I will say, shooting a fish dead center in the middle, there's a multitude of reasons that you don't want to do that. And one of them is filleting. It makes it very hard because you break and smash a bunch of the bones. Now, what you saw right before we got here is something I wasn't gonna put it in the video at first. But then I decided, you know what? Let's let's keep it real. I had a bad day of diving. Um, when we went out the second day, I was very excited because I was convinced I was gonna get something. And I uh, did that first dive. And if you didn't notice in the video, my safety was on. I had a good shot on a mangrove. My safety was on. And that spot, you get about two dives on the fish and then they take off, they get wise to you. So I was very adrenaline pumped and ready to get back down there. So I got back down, a little too excited, and I took a pretty terrible shot and the fish ripped out. I will say this, I was devastated. I uh, was pretty quiet and I didn't get back in the water after that. That was, uh, that was a bummer. But I will say this, we have our fish here which will suffice. And what I want to do is kind of a test recipe anyway. So rather than using an entire big fish on it, why not use something small like this? And for all the people saying, oh no, bar jack, I mean, that's, it's just white, perfect sashimi fish. So this will be perfect. So I'm going to finish filleting this and then we'll get up in the kitchen and I will explain to you guys what I have planned. Amazingly, I actually want to show you this as well. Let me take the skin off of this and I'll be able to show you. But that shot, because immediately shot him, brained him, bled him. Even though that shot's dead center, it actually didn't mess up any of the meat. I'm going to cut out that bloodline anyway. So that's not too bad. I'll take it. So first, let me tell you where I got this idea from. I was eating oysters. Oysters are usually put on crushed ice. And when I grabbed one of the oysters, some of the crushed ice was already on the oyster. So when I put it in, there was now something that usually has no texture whatsoever 
had this ice cold crunchy texture and it was pretty enjoyable. So now link that into my Sicilian roots in Sicily. They have something called granita. And what granita is, is basically you make, it's not ice cream, it has no dairy in it, it's usually water based. You make something like we're gonna make, which is limeade, and then you put it in a freezer on a tray, and every couple of like 20 minutes or so, you scrape. So you scrape all the frozen stuff that's on the bottom, and then it freezes again, and you end up with almost like a shave ice, um, but with a little bit more texture to it. So we're gonna make that and put little scoops of it on the sashimi. And all I'm gonna do for this limeade is literally make limeade. I'm gonna use limes, a little bit of honey, and water. And then we'll freeze that. And in a couple hours, we'll have our granita and we will be ready to make our sashimi. Just gonna go maybe like a teaspoon or so of honey. I just want a little bit to cut the edge of that line. And then I'm gonna go one third water. And we'll stir that until the honey is dissolved. That would be even better with tequila in it. All right, so now we're just pouring it into the tray. I need something with a little bit higher walls on it. Let me see, or we're just gonna have to be very careful. All right, we're gonna risk it. So now this is headed over to the freezer and in about 20 minutes, I will come over with a metal spatula. And like I said, we're gonna scrape the ice off to one side. So the way that I'm gonna put this in a freezer is at a little bit of an angle so that I can scrape all of the granita snow granules all up to one side and the liquid will fall back down. And then we'll end up with, hopefully, a very separated like shave ice, not just one big brick of, of ice. See you in about 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. And we need to do our first scrape. For anyone that doesn't like the sound, <laughs> I would turn off your, uh, your volume for a moment. But this is basically it. And you end up with this, like almost like snow, like shave ice. And like I said, you put this at an angle. So all the liquid is going down that way. And then you can scrape your granita up towards this way. I also want to try this. I kind of want to try this with soy sauce as well. Maybe when this one's done, we'll do one with, uh, with soy sauce just to see how that comes out. But you guys get the idea. I'm gonna wait until this is all finished and maybe we'll try one with soy sauce. All right, I've done three scrapes so far. Looking pretty good. So just, just to test it, I got soy sauce and I added a little bit of water um, out of fear that it might not uh, freeze because of the salt content. So we will come back in a little bit and see if that one works as well. Okay, so the soy sauce one is interesting and I had a feeling because of the salt content in the soy sauce. It's not quite freezing, it's staying kind of like slushy. And if you notice, I moved the, uh, 
the lime one to a container. So I got that out of the way, but this is taking a bit longer and because of all of the salt and everything inside, it needs to freeze at a lower temperature. So this might take a little bit longer or we just use that slush. I'm not opposed to it. Moving on. So I'm gonna get everything prepared. I had my fish wrapped in a paper towel, helps firm it up. And I'm gonna cut my fish, cut everything that I'm gonna put on top and get that ready before I pull the granita out of the uh, freezer because I don't want it to melt. a little scallion so this plate I put into uh, into the freezer so it is nice and cold and that will keep the fish very cold gonna eat these two <laughs> okay I have spicy sesame oil and then this is just uh, Japanese crushed red pepper some sesame seed Galleon. And this one is our lime. And now our soy. So because of the salt content, the soy definitely stayed a little slushier, but that's okay. It's a good thing I shot a small fish, otherwise this would all melt by the time I was done plating. <laughs> trying, to, trying to find a bright side here, Aaron. <laughs> But this is going to be ice cold sashimi. It's going to be amazing, I think. I think. I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, I think. There you go. All right, I got my test subject here. Oh boy. There you go. Can't do chopsticks because I think it'll just fall off. Uh, you've obviously I'm, never I'm, seen my chopstick skills. I'm coming around that side. <laughs> so what do we have here? Bar jack with lime granita, soy sauce granita, which is basically like What's shave granita ice. Mean? It's like Italian shave ice. Whoa. So I know you're an oyster fan, so you're ever eating oysters and you get a couple pieces of the crushed ice on the oyster and you're like, this is wow. a good thing. Yeah, it's kind of, Ooh, it's a little spicy. All right, let me get It's there. interesting with the texture, yeah. Before it's great. Well, you want your sashimi cold, right? Absolutely. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. It's like, it's almost like a delayed fuse. Ooh. <laughs> the, the soy or yeah. ponzu or whatever it is. 
That is good. It's really good. Okay. All right. I it, like my, old stuff. My attitude's turning around from what happened. <laughs> this is, <laughs> and I will say that. Is there chili oil on there? Yeah. Oh, well, that's what it is. Okay. I'll also say that that Barjack was kind of the right choice. Barjack doesn't really have any flavor to it. It's just a texture, soft, clean fish. That's great. Even with that melting, it's still okay because it's lime juice and soy sauce. I like it. All right, guys. I yeah. This this was a tough one for me. My ego was a little hurt, but you know what? We we came out still with a tasty dish of food, so I'm all right with it. Call it a win. Call it a win. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along on this adventure. I know it was a long one, two days worth of me not shooting anything. But um, <laughs> but this is an idea I've had for a while that I really wanted to try out. And I'm pretty stoked on how it came out. It is melting fast. So I'm going to sign off here and stuff my face. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.